It's easy to be discouraged as we look around and we see what's going on in the world. One of the most discouraging statistics, I think, is that less than 5% of us live in the United States. Less than 5% of the world's population, and yet we consume almost 30% of the world's resources. We all know that our world and this country is facing huge crises right now. The oceans are rising, the glaciers are melting, people are going hungry around the planet. We know that business can be used as a force for change. It can be positive or negative. And we've seen in recent years that it's been pretty negative and it's, it's created a situation that just is not sustainable, period. Now we must turn that around and that's why we have the Love Summit because we need to turn the situation around to create an atmosphere of love, of compassion, where businesses are out there selling themselves as agents of love, of agents of loving the earth, loving each other, loving people, loving the environment. We simply must change. And of course, that's what Dream Change is all about. The concept of the Love Summit was born when I was attending a lot of business conferences and a lot of conferences about sustainable living. And what I noticed about these conferences is that they were missing the most underlying, most simple point of what creates a sustainable business and ultimately a sustainable world. And that is simply the way that we treat each other and the environment that we live in. And then I realized this is it. We have to create a Love Summit business conference. Cincinnati has the most marketers per capita than any city in the world. And that's significant because marketers really have become the myth makers of our time. Their stories shape the values and perceptions that our culture has. To change the dream of the modern world, to wake people up, we have to tell different stories. And so I think it's so important that we bring the message of the Love Summit to the heart and to the center of where these stories are created. We hope that um, brave, courageous leaders will come and join us. The people that should come to the second Love Summit are business executives, the heads of human resource departments, people that are in these positions to make big decisions for their company at large. They're going to come to the Love Summit and they're going to learn about why sustainability begins with love. They're going to learn from amazing thought leaders and CEOs, presidents of huge organizations and companies around the world are going to share with them the tools that they need to take into their own business after the conference and put into practice in real life. And this thing is going to go global. There's no question about it. This Love Summit has to go global because we need to bring a whole new environment into the world, a whole new economic political system that emphasizes serving people, serving nature, serving the earth, that emphasizes love. I want people to understand the power that we have as individuals when we come together under the umbrella of business this incredible tool and opportunity that we have to work together with a shared purpose to create a better world for future generations.